Earlier this month, a hog farmer in Iowa, Paul Willis, received a postcard from his sister. And yes, people do still send postcards, but she mailed this one 33 years ago. That's why they call it snail mail. So Paul noticed that there was a postmark on the card from December of 1987, and then a second postmark from April 29th of this year. And he called the post office asking for an explanation for why it was late. And they blamed it on COVID-19. It seems that during this particular season, there's a lot of deep cleaning going on. A lot of machines and furniture being moved. And the best guess is that it fell behind a machine somewhere and was discovered in this process of deep cleaning. Well, there aren't many upsides to this pandemic, but... Perhaps the deep cleaning is one of them. And I'm talking about cleaning out our spirit. We hold on to things deep within our spirit that we don't really need. And from time to time, we need to take that inventory and just clean some things out. So maybe there's a grudge that you've been holding on to for a long time. And it's getting tiring. And you just need to let it go and make space. Maybe you've been offended by somebody and that's been bothering you for far too long. Maybe there's something, maybe a sin perhaps, that you haven't confessed and you'd love to be free of the guilt of that and be restored. Maybe you've been carrying grief in your spirit for many years and it's just weighing you down. In 2 Corinthians, uh, Paul is trying to restore his relationship with that particular congregation. There had been a lot of rumors flying around about things that he had done and they had taken some offense and some of it was real, but most of it was imagined and there was just a lot of difficulty and he was trying to set the record straight and restore relationship with them. And he says in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, Therefore, since we have these promises, dear friends, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates the body and the spirit, um, perfecting holiness out of reverence for God. Make room in your hearts for us, for we have wronged no one. The, the apostle is making the point that as long as we hold on to these perceived slights or real slights, we can't enter into healthy relationship with other people. As long as we hold on to those old reminders, those old postcards, we, we don't have room in our hearts for the people that God has placed around us, the people that we're called to love. And so part of spring cleaning this year might require us to, to go a little bit deeper and to allow God's spirit to disinfect our spirit. I think we'll all feel better for it. God bless you. Have a great week.